complètement malade. Je pense même qu'il y a quelqu'un quelqu dans le véhicule blanc. Montréal, August 9, 2024. In Montreal, several roads were washed out, basements were flooded, and the city's light rail network, the REM, was completely shut down due to a power outage as heavy rainfall hammered the region. Environment and Climate Change Canada, ECCC, said more than 150 millimeters of rain had fallen as of 9 p.m., just as a rainfall warning for the area had ended. That broke the all-time daily record set in 1996. Montreal gets an average of 94 mm of rain during the entire month of August. As of 10 p.m., Hydro-Quebec was reporting more than 460,000 customers lost electricity. The hardest hit areas were the Monterigy region 210,000, Montreal 75,000, and Laval 55,000. The power utility said the outages were caused by wind gusts and fallen tree branches on the power grid during the powerful storm and crews were out in the field trying to restore power. Hydro-Quebec spokesperson Louis Olivier Batty told CTV News that most households will have their power restored by Saturday morning. Still, some could be waiting until later in the day or possibly into Sunday before the electricity comes back. About 100 crews were out in the field Friday night and hundreds more will be deployed Saturday morning. The storm merged with a low-pressure system over the Great Lakes and moved across southern Ontario and Quebec, prompting Environment Canada to issue alerts and warnings from Cornwall, Ontario to Quebec City about the risk of flash flooding. The La Fontaine Tunnel which connects Montreal to the South Shore was shut down in both directions Friday night, according to the Quebec Transport Ministry. The ministry reported several road closures in the Montreal area due to water accumulation Friday evening, including the Decorey North Expressway near Royal Mount Avenue. In Point Claire, lanes on Highway 20 West near Cartier Avenue were blocked due to flooding. There was also flooding on Highway 40 near Exit 55 to De Sources Boulevard. There were several delays and cancellations at the Montreal Trudeau Airport on Friday due to the weather. In Montreal's St. Laurent Borough, the sounds of generators and pumps filled the streets as residents and businesses tried to keep the floodwaters from building up. Transport Quebec said it had prepared for this kind of weather by removing debris from the road, but when it comes to this amount of rain, no equipment can keep up. The ministry is urging all motorists to drive carefully during the weather as the storm system passes over the region. In St. Laurent, many homes flooded along Henri Barassa Boulevard and Norman Street. Firefighters helped exhausted homeowners pile sandbags and pump basements. Hydro-Quebec said homeowners should be careful if their basements are flooded and to call 1-800-790-2424 to allow crews to cut their power before heading downstairs. The deluge of rain forced the cancellations of several events across Montreal, including some outdoor activities for Montreal Pride, including Community Day in the Village and Soiree 100% Drag at Montreal's Olympic Parks Esplanade, which was postponed to Saturday. La Ronde Amusement Park also closed, as well as the Grand Bisou east of Montreal. Meanwhile, the opening events for the Hot Air Balloon Festival in St. Jean sur Richelieu, southeast of Montreal, were postponed until Monday. The non-profit day shelter, Resilience Montreal, flooded, according to Executive Director Nacossette. Nicolas Minas, a convenience store owner in Montreal's Park Extension neighborhood, said he was checking the store's basement for flooding before doing the same in his garage and his mother's basement. I have to go downstairs and check every so often just because you never know when it's going to happen, Minas told the Canadian press. 
When it comes, it comes down and you can see that the sewers don't necessarily suck it up fast enough. C'est fou. Complètement fou. Moi, j'ai jamais vu ça. J'espère qu'il n'y a pas de blessés et pas de mort non plus. Là.